A North Korean man became one of the biggest icons in Japan. His name was Ricky Dozan, born in North Korea in 1924. After his father died in 1939, he became an orphan and was adopted by a Japanese family. He started out his life as a sumo wrestler, but left sumo wrestling in 1950. After attending an American pro wrestling show in 1951, he decided to pursue pro wrestling. Ricky Dozan soon quickly rose to fame as a pro wrestler in Japan and became a national icon in the country. He had many pro wrestling bouts with American wrestlers, the most famous one being with Lou Thess, where he defeated him for the NWA International Championship. Ricky Dozan also mentored many fellow Japanese pro wrestlers, including the legendary Japanese pro wrestler Antonio Inoki, who is famous for fighting Muhammad Ali in the weirdest circus rules exhibition fight ever. Ricky Dozan Dozan's success of pro wrestling made him really rich, where he owned properties like nightclubs, hotels, and boxing promotions. He was also responsible for creating Japan's first ever wrestling promotion, called Japan Pro Wrestling Alliance. His fame was so high in the 1960s that people claimed that for the average Japanese citizen, even if they didn't know who the Prime Minister of Japan was, they would know who Ricky Dozan was. Many people also claimed that because of him, the rise of color television sales increased as everyone wanted to watch one of his matches. Ricky Dozan's life and death were both unique. His death starts off at a high-end nightclub where he was talking to a girl. Ricky Dozan was involved in an altercation with a Japanese Yakuza member, where the Yakuza member stepped on his shoe. Ricky Dozan demanded an apology from him. An argument unfolded and the Yakuza member pulled out a knife. Ricky Dozan apologized for starting an argument and believed the Yakuza member should also apologize for what he did. The Yakuza member refused to apologize, so a fight unfolded that resulted in Ricky Dozan being stabbed in the abdomen. The stab wounds were all non fatal and the surgeries were all successful. However, doctors demanded that he must not drink any alcohol until he fully recovers. Ricky Dozan refused to listen and began drinking alcohol as soon as he left the hospital. His drinking worsened his condition, which led to his death in 1963 at the age of 39. The Yakuza member who stabbed him was sentenced to 8 years in prison, as it was a bar fight so the sentence was not as severe. So I know some of you might think that he was not murdered because he died from the drinking, but he would have never been in the situation in the first place if he wasn't stabbed, and a murder counts as causing someone's death no matter how long it takes them to die, whether it be instantly or even over the span of years. So, Ricky Dozan's funeral was held 5 days later. Since he was such an icon to the country, over 12,000 people showed up and it was also broadcasted nationally. Ricky Dozan's also known as the godfather of pro wrestling in Japan.